I perceive nature as religion. It often happens that I discover something in nature. I just stand there. I can't start drawing. Nature wins. It's stronger than me. I lose. A talent for painting. I understand this as a sort of mission. I can never judge in advance what I'm going to draw and when. I fall in love with something and the subject sits in my head waiting for the right moment. Using a black background allows me to work without black on my palette. Painting out the black is actually a victory. I always have the feeling that it is the idea in my head doing the painting rather than my hands. They just do the work. I see the picture in advance and then I paint it. It's absolutely impossible not to see or be aware of the beauty around us. But most of us pass by without noticing how beautiful this field is. And for me, Sasha Onyshenko is a great painter simply because he tries to provoke us into using our eyes, into really looking at things into becoming one with nature, seeing the beautiful signals she puts out to us every moment. Each picture has its own inspiration and captures the atmosphere of a particular moment, a feeling which lasts only as long as that particular moment. Sasha's pictures are full of that sort of life that Jewish dance really encapsulates, the feeling of movement and the feeling of light. So Sasha had two exhibitions in London and we were thinking, where are other good places to go? And I have a very good friend in New York who had an opportunity to exhibit Sasha's paintings in New York. That's the moment I love, when I sign a painting. It's the happiest time for any artist. 
Just a dot here. Let's make that two. There we are. Finished. Sasha had a pretty hard life back in Siberia. I'm quite sure all doors didn't open for him. Everything he achieved was paid for by hard work. There is heart and enormous vitality in those paintings of his. I would rather call it hard impressionism. You feel all that energy he has inside him in every stroke of his brush. For me, Chesky Krumlov has become one of those miracles which I just can't leave anymore. I don't think there can be many towns with such a rich history. I feel just like a fish in water here. Each house, each small street breathes a picture. I don't have to make any effort here. The work just happens. It's wonderful. It's hard to explain the emotions I have when I'm painting. I feel I'm not in this world at all. I don't notice my surroundings, I don't even mind people watching me. I live only in the reality of the picture. The moment when I start drawing is a very special one. I feel extremely excited, as if I were discovering something totally new. I don't feel as if I've left a place I can never go back to. I don't even know where my home is exactly. You lose your original home and don't find a new one.
A period of change is the hardest time in anyone's life. For me, change always meant looking for new support or simply for new friends. It's that light and that capturing of the light that I think is just so exciting about all of Sasha's paintings. And it's what made us fall in love with his pictures right from the beginning. It's made us fall in love with the first picture that we saw when we saw it in the window of his gallery. And I've seen so many people now who the same thing is happening to when they walk past the gallery. There you are, you've got this exciting thing when you walk past and you see the picture, you see the light that it captures in the window. And there is always enough left in Sasha's pictures to leave something to your imagination so that your imagination can take over and you can make the picture for you, not just for the story that's meant to be there. An artist should always show his paintings to somebody. That starts a dialogue between the artist and the viewer. The question that never goes away is, where do my paintings come from? I'll be glad never to find an answer. For me, the main thing is how to keep looking without finding.